Hi and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Nolly and today we're going to be taking a look at a DW Collectors Hybrid Spruce and Maple Drum Kit. DW is one of the most famous premium drum manufacturers and they've made a lot of their reputation off the back of the very successful Collectors series of drums, of which today's kit is a recent inclusion. It's part of a range of new shells that DW are offering which includes spruce as a tone wood. Here it is today alongside the ever popular maple in a five piece format. We've got a 22 by 18 inch bass drum, we've got 10 by 8 and 12 by 9 inch rack toms, a 16 by 14 inch floor tom, and a 14 by 6.5 inch snare drum. The finish is a natural satin matched with chrome hardware, and while we don't have a definitive list price on this kit, if you were to look at similar collector series drums, you should be expecting to pay between about four to five thousand pounds. Before we go any further though, let's check out a few more sound clips. Our initial impression was of a very smart looking kit. It's not attention grabbing, but it's very clean and refined. DW's shell hardware is a very recognisable sight to a lot of drummers and adds a touch of class to the overall aesthetic. Once we got into tuning up the drums, we found they were really easy to work with. I think a special mention needs to go to these true pitch 50 tension rods that DW have started installing on their kits. They've got such a fine thread that it really does make the sweet spot a lot larger once you're down to making precision tuning adjustments. DW uses US made Remo heads on all of their drums. They've recently made the change over to a new kind of Tom batter head, which is a smooth white dual ply over a more traditional clear single ply on the resonant side. The bass drum has a hybrid coated and clear single ply batter head paired with an unported single ply front head, which does have six small vents around the outside. The bass drum also comes from the factory fitted with two small muffling pillows to independently muffle each head. 
The snare drum is fitted with a single ply coated batter head over a hazy snare side with 20 strand wires fitted. DW has a reputation for making a great sounding bass drum and this 22 by 18 is no exception. It's got a great balance of attack, fullness, and has a surprisingly short sustain despite the fact it's got a full front head on there. That said, if you were to cut in a front port, you'd be treated to an ultra punchy kick sound that would be great for all sorts of modern styles. The rack toms have excellent note projection and opened up even at the very softest hit. To our ears, there's a little bit more brightness and a little bit less warmth than you'd expect from a completely maple shell, though you could also perceive this as simply being clearer and more articulate. While they were responsive at all dynamic levels, we particularly liked how they sounded when hit with a bit more authority, where the balance of attack and note was really impressive. The floor tom felt like it needed a little bit more effort to coax a full note out of, but really came into its own when played at a higher intensity. Similarly to the rack toms, it had a clear and bright voice that cut through the mix really well. Finally, coming around to the snare drum, we were really blown away. It's dynamic, it's got an incredible sounding rim shot, and it's surprisingly articulate given the fact that it's a six and a half inch deep drum. We really liked its clean sustain and felt that it had so much headroom that it could be a really good choice of drum, whether for a soft or a heavy hitting player. On the whole, I'd describe this kit as possessing a fairly modern voice studio sound, and it strikes me as a really good alternative to moving to the traditional birch for recording, or to a more dense hardwood to achieve more projection. As one might expect from a kit of this stature, the drums are finished flawlessly both inside and out with amazing joinery and silky smooth woodwork. The exemplary workmanship also lets itself be known through the completely even pitch across all of the drum heads, even on the snare where some drums, including some very expensive ones, can be impossible to completely straighten out. The Collector Series shell hardware feels luxurious and completely rock solid in operation, all adding up to a user experience that feels worthy of DW's reputation. DW's collector's kits are a very popular choice amongst serious drummers, with the all maple shell being the typical default choice for many. These hybrid spruce and maple kits do offer a nice alternative though, with a clearer mid-range, while still retaining the familiar feel of maple. There's no hiding that these drums sit right at the top of the market, but after many years competing against top line offerings from other major manufacturers, as well as smaller custom shop companies, the Collector Series has stood the test of time, and there's no doubt in our minds there's still going to be loads of people who will aspire to own one for themselves. We'd love to hear your opinions though, so please leave us a comment with your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future content, and we'll see you next time at Drummer's Review.